Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson and in today's Fix of Entertainment News, Robert Kirkman gives us an update on what to expect from future seasons of Prime Video's Invincible. The showrunner of Netflix's Daredevil isn't too happy with Disney's Born Again reboot series. Find out why. Plus, we're catching up with everybody's favorite belter, Kamina Drummer, presented by The Expanse. Creator Robert Kirkman isn't shy when it comes to prolonging his televised shows for fans to enjoy them for years to come. After all, he created the comic that launched the Walking Dead franchise, which included the flagship AMC series that lasted over a decade, plus several spin-offs and a pile of video games. Well, it looks like Kirkman already has plans for another universe he created with the animated Invincible series spanning up to possibly eight seasons. Now, speaking of Polygon on the upcoming season two and the future of the Prime Video series, he said, quote, I'm trying not to pin it down to a number because it is somewhat of a moving target. I think in the seven to eight range seems like it would be enough, but there could be some things we move through a little faster, some things we expand. If we're fortunate enough to go for a good long time, I think that would be enough to cover the entire comic. Now, 11 seasons wasn't enough to cover The Walking Dead's comic book run, which unexpectedly ended back in 2019. But a lot of that was due to how far The Walking Dead AMC series deviated from the source material. Dealing in live action on a television budget comes with its limitations as well, meaning Kirkman and the team likely couldn't pull off some of the bigger set pieces they may have wanted to that took place in the comics. There was also the added challenge of wrangling the schedules of its live action cast. But since Invincible is an animated series, there's no reason for it to not be a one-to-one -one of the source material. And getting actors in a BO booth is a lot less of an ask than having them on set in full hair and makeup for weeks on end. Now, if season one was an indication enough, don't expect Invincible to stay 100% in line with the comic. Now, continuing in that Polygon interview, he said, quote, there are some things along the way that didn't get into the comic that I'd like to do. I think it'd be cool to have some episodes here and there that are completely original. So that's part of the plan moving forward. And we know he's no stranger when it comes to staying true to his original creations while still telling an entirely new story. Dead City, Daryl Dixon, and the upcoming The Ones Who Live series are all within the Walking Dead universe with familiar characters from the original comic series, but placed in a separate and original story that's completely different from the comic book counterpart's experiences. Now, with 144 comic issues that span 15 years, it wouldn't be surprising to see Invincible going to at least seven seasons, right? Uh, maybe eight. Now, it's been just over two years since the first season of Invincible, and now we're waiting for the second season to come out November 3rd. That's definitely a long road to a potential eight seasons, but fans will be here to watch it every step of the way. Now keep in mind, season two's eight episodes will be released in two chunks, with the first half airing in 2023 and the second airing sometime next year. Now there's no word on why it's being split into two parts, but many speculate that it might be due to the ongoing Hollywood strikes, which has halted production on a number in the movies, TV, and streaming industry. But it could also be to give animators time to finish episodes, or so Amazon can possibly string viewers along, build up hype, and get a few more bucks out of subscribers. I mean, The Walking Dead did that with its seasons all the time. Now, it looks like the showrunner of the Netflix series Daredevil isn't too happy with what Disney is doing over there on Disney Plus with its new show, Daredevil Born Again. Now, Stephen DeKnight took to Twitter to call out the House of Mouse on what they're doing, tweeting out, quote, it's an old Disney scam where they slightly rename a series to reset contract terms back to first season needs to be addressed by all the guild slash unions and crushed. Now, if this strategic move by Disney tonight will not receive any money from the upcoming Daredevil series since it's got Born Again tacked onto the end of the show title. Now, that means it's essentially a different show from the Netflix series. Now, tonight calls that into question since the series also stars the two lead actors who were in his Daredevil series on Netflix. Now, making sure the public didn't mistake his anger for everyone associated with the upcoming Disney Plus series, tonight went on to say, quote, to be clear, I can't wait to see Charlie Cox and the amazing Vincent D'Onofrio reprise their iconic roles. 
but to claim this is a complete reboot and you don't have to pay the original creatives is some corporate shenanigans to say the least. Shenanigans indeed. Now, Denite has every right to be frustrated, but I want to toss things over to you, the viewers. Do you agree with Denite's take on the entire situation? Does Disney Marvel owe anything to the showrunner of the Netflix series that came before Disney's Born Again? Now, the argument could be made that without the creative team that worked on the Netflix Daredevil series, Charlie Cox and Vincent D'Onofrio would never have been on Disney's radar to reprise their roles in the Born Again series. And if Disney's argument is that this is a whole new rebooted version of the characters separate from their Netflix versions, then why cast the same actors? But you know what? I, I, I don't want to give y'all any of my hot takes. I'll leave it to y'all in the comments. And finally, actor Kara G reprises her role as fan favorite Kamina Drummer in The Expanse, a Telltale series. New to The Expanse? Well, we first meet Kamina Drummer in season two of the TV series. Now, she's chief of security at Tycho Station, the belt's headquarters and home to 15,000 people, but quickly becomes a central figure in the series. Drummer doesn't hide her emotions and doesn't care who knows. The drummer understands the chain of command and obeys her superiors, as long as she respects those in command. The Expanse at Telltale series gives fans a glimpse of what made Drummer into the badass boss man you meet at Tycho Station. But first, she and her crew need to survive life in the belt abroad, the scavenger ship, the Artemis. Experience the start of Drummer's journey today. All five episodes of The Expanse, a Telltale series, are available now on Xbox, PS5, and the Epic Games Store. All right, and that was your Fix of Entertainment news for today. I'm Akeem Lawanson, and thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.